Mara, it looks like you're working on the shutters that were originally on the house. And I know it's a lot of work to paint these by hand, but it looks like you got something else up your sleeve. Well, that's right. There was a lot of prep work done for the shutter done. Uh, scraping all the peeling paint, right. filling up all the nail holes, and sanded with 150 grit sandpaper. All right, so both sides are prepped and all the edges. So what's the process here? Well, we're going to use an airless sprayer, and we're going to spray this tinted primer 90% closer to the final color. So first thing we do is spray all the four sides, and then we spray the top. Okay, I see. So that's why you've got these all stacked up nice and even. You can spray the edges on a whole bunch of them all at one time. We can do a lot of work and a lot of work done faster. All right, a latex primer? Latex primer. All right, let's see you do it. Okay. Boom, all the four sides are done. Now it's time to spray the top. Okay, and what's the process there? As soon as I finish to this end, we stick a thin powder knife and take it away to dry. All right, so you're not going to touch the edges, you're just going to lift it and move it away. That's right. Now, Mauro, that is great. It only took a few minutes to spray 12 shutters. So how long does that have to dry? Well, it will have to dry for a day. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, we're going to do the backside mm -hmm. using the same process as the, the first time. OK, and what's the final color going to be? The final color is going to be called Stone Cutter. OK, so in about three or four days, we'll be able to put them back up. It will be ready for you. Great technique, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.